ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਟੈਪਿੰਗ ਸਟੋਨਸ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਰੀਡਰ 4A 2019 ਐਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਲੈਸਨ 6 ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਆਇਆ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਲੈਸਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਵਾਵਲ ਸਾਊਂਡਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਰਿਵਿਊ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਨਾ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਬਿਟ ਹਾਰਡ ਲੈਸਨ देयर आर सम वर्ड्स इन पंजाबी दैट are made only with vowels or there's just vowel sound and then you don't know how to write that so that's why this lesson is really important i will try to make it easy but you may have to read this lesson a couple of times to understand whole thing so there are two kinds of vowel sounds in punjabi independent and dependent independent sounds are made <coughs> using ura eda and ed <coughs> with the matra symbol um oh it says read the short poem above there is no short poem poem above this poem here um we will read that circle the words with independent matra sound so here is the poem it says ao ji ao ji ao ji ji aaya nu ao ji ao ji ao ji ji aaya nu so what are we supposed to do circle the words with independent matra so let me get my annotation and we will circle here so independent matras they have ura ada ed in them so a o a o a o and i an this one okay all of these are independent matra words so look at this one you hear no consonant in them a o a o a e a right there's no consonant so those are independent matras dependent forms use are used with all other letters for example g j e you hear the j first then you say e in those words we hear the letter sound first and then we hear the matra sound whenever we use ura ada ed with the matra symbol it's independent form of the vowel and you have to really learn how to make them okay now ura is uh, so here are the matras with ura just ura we're going to think about it here ura is only used with hora onkar and the lankar these are the three examples with each matra when used at the beginning middle or end of a word each matra has been shown in different color actually it's not but um, let's pretend it's different color so this is ura so whenever we write ura and you don't close it up on top it means it has a hora on top like a konkar so this is okay so let me erase this so it doesn't interfere with us so this one is okay theek hai okay now where is ura occurring ura is coming at the beginning so when you hear the sound o in the beginning of a word you will have to write ura open up up on top theek hai so here read the sentence then circle all the independent matra um sounds matra sound words okay and by a also here right so let's just focus on ura here first let's not worry about ed ura hora ura aoge so there was beginning now we have the middle sound o whenever you hear the o sound in the middle and no consonant you have to write the open ura aoge middle place you will come and the future verb tense to see kar kad aoge theek hai hoda uda ao so when we hear the o sound at the end no consonant you are writing uda open uda hoda ao means come ao ji ji aya nu uda onkar oh 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 means that or he o mere mummy han ura onkar kyu ura at the end right kyu oh this one is wrong example we were supposed to write let me write a word 
uh, annotate, draw, let me pick a color. Kion. Okay, so um, Kion. Ankur, Bindi, Ro, Rahe, Ho. And it's a question, so we write a question. Sorry about that. Ura, the lankard. Ura, the word Ura. Ura, Penti da, Pella akhar hai. So this is how the sounds are made. This is how you will use these sounds. Let's delete this so that we can move on to next page and it doesn't interfere with us. Sorry about that. I made some mistakes. I didn't even notice them. And here's the eraser here. Okay, now for next one, independent matra vowel sound with ura. Read this poem, circle the independent matra words with ura, ada, and ed, then copy the poem. So here, ao, ji, ao, ji, ao, ji, ji, ayano. So here you can circle ura, ada, ura, ada, and ed also. Independent vowel sounds with ura. Read the sentences, circle all the independent matra sound words, then copy the sentences here. O, kon, he, oho. You will circle oho, right? Oho. Oh, Mary, Mammy, Han. Okay, bye. To see Carcado, Cad Auge, Auge, G, I am no Ura, Penti, the Pella, a cur, a cur. So this is Mukta, there's no matra, but we can circle. Mukta is also a matra sound. Take it. Then you're going to trace these sentences so beautifully with pencil or marker. You're going to trace a uh, o. Take it. What will that do this to you? This is going to help you read better and write better. And go ahead and circle the independent matra words so that you know um, how to make these sounds. Take it. So I think this is your lesson for today. Make sure you read this poem, you read these words, and make sure that you learn to read Punjabi better and don't make as many mistakes as I did. So we will meet next time again in the next lesson. Until then, Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.